We're diving into five amazing alternatives that offer a mix of awesome features, tight security, and great value. From the impressive media player of pCloud to the unparalleled privacy of Sync.com, we're breaking down what makes each service unique. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're on a quest to find the best cloud storage options out there, going beyond the familiar names like Google Drive and Dropbox. So smash that like button and join me in discovering the best cloud storage solutions on the market. You've probably heard about Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox, right? They're like the uh, popular kids of the cloud world. Each of them has this massive marketing budget and a really strong brand image. But here's the catch, They're not exactly the best out there. I mean, let's be real about Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox. They've got some pretty iffy data policies. It's, it's a major concern if you're someone who really cares about keeping your private stuff private. Oh, and if you're curious about these big three cloud providers and want the lowdown on them, just check out the link to a video of ours I got in the description box below. It's pretty eye-opening. All right, in this video, we're gonna switch things up a bit, forget about Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox for a moment, and instead, I'm gonna tell you about the five other cloud storage services that really stand out in the areas that matter the most. Privacy, storage space, speed, features, and of course, the price. So these five are pCloud, IceDrive, Sync.com, Mega, and iDrive. And hey, make sure you stick around to the end because I'll be revealing which one of these is the absolute best overall. Now let's dive into storage space. All these services offer a range of options, so I'll focus on the minimum and maximum options you can get with their paid plans. We're not gonna talk about their free plans here, but if that's what you're looking for, there's another video I've linked below for you. First up, let's talk about pCloud. The basic yearly plan starts at 500 gigabytes and it goes up to two terabytes, but there's a twist. If you go for the lifetime subscription, you can get as much as 10 terabytes. Honestly, I have five pCloud's lifetime subscription, a pretty interesting option. It's a bit of an upfront investment, but it could save you money in the long run if you're planning to use cloud storage for many years. Next is IceDrive. The entry level plan offers one terabyte and it goes all the way up to 10 terabytes on their top plan. Then there's Sync.com. They offer a pretty sweet deal on their base plan, giving you two terabytes right off the bat. But maximum, a solid six terabytes. Plus, if you're a business, they've got plans with unlimited storage. Mega starting plan might not seem that impressive with just 400 gigabytes. But wait until you hear about their largest plan a whopping 16 terabytes. Personally, I think Mega's jump from entry level to the highest plan is a bit extreme. It's great for those who need a lot of space, but it doesn't offer much flexibility for users in between. Last but not least, we have iDrive. The most affordable plan offers 100 gigabytes and the premium option gives you up to five terabytes. So now let's get into speed and performance, which is basically how fast you can upload and download your files and how consistent each service is at this. To make sure we're giving you reliable info, our team did some speed tests using a five gigabyte folder. We did this over a 100 megabit per second connection for both uploads and downloads. And we ran each test twice to see if the results were consistent. Let's start with pCloud. Uploading the folder took less than nine minutes and downloading it was just over seven minutes. On our second go, it was even faster, which is seriously impressive. Then there's iStrive. It was super consistent, taking just a bit over seven minutes for both uploading and downloading, and the results were almost the same the second time around. It's definitely one of the top performers for speed and consistency. Now, Sync.com was a bit slower, kind of like the tortoise in a race. The first upload took almost 10 minutes, and the second time it stretched to over 18 minutes. Downloads were consistent, but they did take over 15 minutes each time. Mega, on the other hand, got things moving faster again. We're talking seven to eight minutes for both uploading and downloading our folder. Lastly, let's talk about iDrive. Uploads were pretty quick under eight minutes and downloads took just a bit over seven minutes. In the speed and performance league, iDrive takes the top spot, but honestly, most of these services are so close in speed, you barely notice any difference. Okay, I'm not gonna dive into every single feature of these services, but I do want to highlight a few key features we always look out for here at CloudWords. Let's talk about block level sync first. It's a neat little feature. Basically, if you tweak a file that's already up in the cloud, the service just updates the part you changed instead of re-uploading the whole thing. It's a real time saver. Out of all the services we mentioned, 
only Peak Cloud and iDrive offer this. Sadly, Sync.com, Mega, and iStrive don't have this feature yet. Personally, I find it a little disappointing that more services don't offer block level sync. It's such a useful feature for file editing, especially for those who work with large files. Next up is Selective Sync, another handy thing. This is all about choice, like when you install a cloud storage app on your computer, some services let you pick exactly which folders you want to sync, instead of just automatically syncing everything. pCloud, iDrive, Mega, and Sync.com are all on board with this, but iStrive, not so much. It's surprising that iStrive hasn't included selective sync yet. I mean, in a world where customization is key, giving users the choice to sync only what they need seems essential. And then there's bandwidth management. This one's about controlling your upload and download speeds so that your internet doesn't crawl to a stop when you're syncing files. pCloud, Sync.com, and iDrive gave you this control. But iStrive and Mega, they don't offer this feature yet. Every top cloud storage service has its own special thing that makes it stand out. Let me give you a rundown of what we think is the coolest feature of each provider. First off, pCloud. It's got this awesome built-in media player. Whether you're using it on the web or on your mobile, it's a breeze to watch videos and listen to music. You can even make playlists and check your files offline. Pretty neat, right? Then there's iStrive. Its biggest charm, the user interface design. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Bright, minimalistic, it makes browsing your files feel like a breeze. Sync.com shines with its dedication to user privacy. I'll get into the nitty gritty in the privacy section of the video, but just know that Sync.com lets you hold the range of your encryption keys and doesn't charge you extra for it. Mega is one of the few that offers native communication tools. Through its web or mobile app, you can send files and messages through a secure chat tool. You can even invite people inside and outside of your network to the chat. And everything's encrypted. iDrive has a unique twist. Besides cloud backup, it can also back up to a local disk. So if your computer crashes, iDrive can send you a physical copy of your files, system settings and all. It might be overkill for some, but for professionals, it's a big deal. Now, let's talk about security and privacy, which for me and the CloudWorks team is the most crucial part. It's super important that your files stay out of the wrong hands and that you know exactly who can access them. When it comes to cloud storage, Sync.com, pCloud, Mega, and iDrive use AES 256-bit encryption, which is top notch. Basically, it's like a fortress for your files. You know, we here at CloudWorks always wonder why some services don't use AES 256 encryption as a standard. It's like the gold standard for security, and in a world where digital privacy is constantly under threat, you'd really think it'd be a no-brainer, right? iStrive uses something called Two-Fish Encryption. It's less known, but supposedly tough for hackers to crack. We haven't had any big security breaches with iStrive, so that's a good sign. All these services offer two-factor authentication for logging in, and you can choose to turn off this feature if you want. And when you're sharing files, you've got the power to set user permissions and password protect your stuff on all these platforms. Next up, let's talk about privacy, which is super important, right? The first thing we always check out with cloud storage providers is zero knowledge encryption. So what's zero knowledge encryption? It basically means that you, the user, get total control over who sees your files. But what if the service doesn't offer this? Well, it still might be secure, but it means that the company's employees could potentially access your data. Remember how we talked about Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox at the start? They could scan your files and delete your account without warning if they don't like what they see. The good news is, all the services we're discussing in this video offer zero-knowledge encryption, which is why we think they're the among the best. Another big privacy thing we look at is where the servers of each service are located. This matters because different places have different privacy laws, and some are definitely better than others. Take pCloud and iDrive, for instance. Their servers are in the US, which is a part of a group of countries that can access your data if they want to. But pCloud gives you the option to move your data to Luxembourg, which has better privacy laws for its users. Just know, it will cost you 20 bucks. Then you got Mega and iStrive with servers in the EU. That means you're protected by GDPR, which is great for controlling how your data is used and how long it's kept. Sync.com servers are in Canada, which isn't the top dog in privacy laws, but it's still better than the US. In Canada, your data is safeguarded by the Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act. And now the big question, how much do these cloud storage services cost? Well, they range from pretty good deals to excellent value offers. You can go for the month-to-month -month payment, 
or choose an annual subscription. Oh, and PCloud has this lifetime plan, while IceDrive offers a five-year plan. But let's keep it simple and just talk about the annual plans. Instead of listing every single option, I'll focus on the cheapest and most expensive plans for each service. Starting with PCloud, the basic plan is $49.99. The Premium Plus plan sets you back $99.99 a year. IceDrive's entry-level plan, the Pro One, is $59 a year. The Top Pro X plan comes in at $299 a year. Now let's talk about Sync.com, which honestly seems like the best deal all around. Their starter plan is $96 a year, and for what you get, it's a steal. The top tier plan, $240 a year. Mega's Pro plan is a bit more, at $108.91 a year. And the Pro Pre plan is $326.75 annually. iDrive has this mini plan for just $2.95, and their personal plan starts at $68.65 for the year. But then it jumps to $99.50 after that. Each of these services has its own take on pricing, with options like family plans and business plans too. If you're keen to dig into the details on pricing and services overall, I've got links to our full reviews in the description box below. So, after considering all these categories, which cloud storage service really stands out as the best overall? Let's break it down, starting from the bottom. In fifth place, we've got iDrive. It's a solid service, but it might be a bit much for the average user. The interface isn't the best, and there's no unlimited storage option, which is a bit of a bummer. iDrive's complexity could be a double-edged sword. It offers robust features, but that complexity might not be everybody's cup of tea, especially if you're just looking for some simple cloud storage. It's a reminder that more features don't always mean better usability. And here at CloudWords, we tend to favor simpler solutions that give you peace of mind. Number four is Mega. We're into their storage options and their strong privacy stance, but it's not higher up on the list because their paid plans can get a little pricey and the app can be a little clunky to use. Mega's approach is interesting. They put a heavy emphasis on privacy, which is great, but their user experience might need some polishing. It's a delicate balance between security and user friendliness, one that all services strive to achieve. Coming in at number three is IceDrive. This one's a winner for its simplicity and super sleek user interface, but it's missing a few things like block level sync, selective sync, and bandwidth management, so it's not quite at the top. Second place goes to pCloud. It's got pretty much everything you'd want, user-friendly, quick, and some cool extras like the built-in media player. The only drawback? Its zero-knowledge encryption comes at an extra cost on top of your annual plan. pCloud almost hits the sweet spot, but the additional cost for zero-knowledge encryption raises an interesting question about the value proposition. It's a feature that's becoming a standard expectation, so should it really come at an extra cost? I'll leave that for you to decide. In the top spot? That goes to sync.com. When it comes to security and privacy, it's unbeatable. And you don't have to pay extra for zero-knowledge encryption. And it's not the fastest out there, but other than that, it's hard to find any faults. Plus, it offers great value overall, making it the best place to invest your money. Sync.com seems to strike the right balance between functionality, security, and cost. I hope you found this rundown helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. Catch you later. This is Max at CloudWords.